when I was growing up, um, I actually really loved um, Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston and Celine Dion. They were like my idols. I would sing along to their music. Um, but I think when I started writing my own music, I was able to kind of find my own voice and my own style, which is a great thing about writing your own songs. Um, you can put your own twist to it. Um, but I think I always kind of had my own thing going. You got my mind, got my attention. You got my heart, got my affection. I think as I got older and more experienced, the more I played in front of people, uh, you know, the more confident I got, and I realized that. I didn't have to be perfect, you know, I didn't have to play it perfectly, or if I messed up, it'd be okay, you know? I'll go as far as to say I fell, to say I fell, I fell in love. It's definitely easier to play in front of people that I know they're there to watch me play, you know, rather than if you play at a, at a gig that people are not they're necessary to see you. But it calls me that no, 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 no. Yeah, just nervous. My throat gets dry sometimes still when I get really nervous. Started writing more and getting better at playing guitar and playing in front of people. Basically, I just wanted to be able to play music for myself so I can sing along to it. Well, one of my biggest influences when I first started writing um, and style and vocals and everything was Michelle Branch because um, she was really big back then and um, she definitely influenced me a lot in terms of that um, but uh, another person that really influenced me or another band is a band called Over the Rhine and the lead singer is a, a woman and it's really kind of more folky country type of feel um, and she really influenced me um, in terms of melodies and the way that she sings really strong. Um, I would say for right now, contemporary wise, um, Sarah Borelli's and um, Brooke Frazier, um, they're definitely women that I really look to and inspire me in terms of my vocals. <laughs>
know, when the, prog the progression kind of comes in at um, strong in the second verse, and then for the rest of it, kind of like with the strumming, um, when I pick up with the strumming, uh, I think I'm getting definitely more comfortable. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember the first time I got up on stage. It might have been a talent show in high school. <laughs> but I think it was bad. Now I took um, vo voice lessons or had a vocal coach for a couple of years, and she really helped me to broaden my range and learn how to breathe and um, exercise my, my voice before shows. Um, but she'd always get mad at me because I always wouldn't listen to her what she told me, and I kind of did my own thing in terms of the way I sang. So I guess I always kind of had my own thing. I don't, I don't usually go back and add more to a song. A lot of times I'll just, as long as I say everything that I want to say, or just feels right, a lot of times you just have to go on feeling, you know? Um, feel like, okay, yeah, it's done. I think that's good. Or sometimes you want to add a bridge at the end to say that little extra thing. A lot of times I'll write a melody first, and then, um, and then I'll put words to it. But for this particular song, um, I wrote it um, when I was kind of going through a really rough time, a sad time. Um, and uh, it's basically about um, kind of retrospective of when you used to believe in love and um, happy endings and kind of fairy tale kind of things. And then someone kind of breaks your heart and someone that you really loved and they put you in a place where it makes you kind of a non-believer in love. Um, and I wrote it while I was driving and I just came up with these lyrics of how I was feeling and I wrote them down and I, I put it to music when I got home. And um, but something that I like to do with my, with my songs, if it's kind of a sad song, um, there should always be an element of hope, um, which is why I wrote the chorus, you know, in hope that um, that person will come along that made me want to believe again. So then I started writing the, you know, just. You turn me into an unbeliever, my faith. You know, like, it's kind of on the lower register at first, and um, the way that it flows, some of the parts um, are more, there's not necessarily a very specific flow to the verses, and I wanted it to just sound real, like, um, what I'm feeling right now is what's coming out. Um, and I, I just wanted it to have that raw, intense feeling. In high school is when I first started writing. Uh, I think I wrote one or two songs. And then um, in college, college is when I really um, started writing more. And um, yeah, it's just, well, I love to do it. You turn me into an to waver eventually no longer a dreamer he made me believe that love was dead made me think it was all in my head made me realize there's no happy
that's what you really want to do, yeah. And I'll let you know if you're reading my mind. Like sweet poetry through a new light, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me your story. Tell me things that you don't tell anyone And maybe if we feel like it We'll go have us a little bit of fun